Before we kick it all off, our friend Amy Bazzari has a book out that was so good, we actually wanted to do an entire episode with her. Unfortunately, we had some technical difficulties that were so bad, we had to kind of scrap most of the recording. Uh, sometimes these things happen. They were unforeseen. We didn't realize it until after the fact. But we still wanted to share some of that interview and more about the book with you. Yes. Yeah, so the book by Amy Bazzari is called The Best Hits on the Blues Highway, Nashville to New Orleans on Route 61. So when I, so Amy, I've kind of known of her um, for a while now through my travel blogging network. And um, we've crossed paths before, um, but, uh, you know, she probably didn't remember me and that's okay. But um, so we have a mutual friend who posted something on Facebook about Amy's new book coming out. And when I saw the title, I mean, I didn't even need to read anything further. I was like, oh my gosh, this is the perfect book for, you know, to kind of go along with Roots Music Rambler. And um, so I reached out, uh, actually, I think you reached out, Jason, we talked about it and then you sent her an email and we got it set up and she was so excited to talk with us and to record um, the episode. And I am just like, I'm really, really bummed that it didn't work out, you know, that the interview, the, the, the file was not where we need it to be. Um, but we are going to share a little bit about, or from that interview, from the time that we talked with her in this episode. Um, so yeah, Amy, you know, she lives in Chicago and she spent like, I think a summer, is that what she said? Um, yeah. Down in Mississippi, she got some, uh, she w enrolled in a program uh, at a school down there and she lived down there. And if you remember, I took a trip of my own back in April, drove from Chicago down to New Orleans and um, it kind of, you know, I was on Route 61 for a little bit and it, you know, I, I kind of followed the same route that she did. Um, so yeah, the, this book, the topic and the inclusion of the travel element is what really spoke to me. So we asked her to tell us how the book came about and more about the writing of it. So here's Amy Bazzari. I've always had a passion for music. And before this, I wrote a guide to Route 66, which of course, the legendary Mother Road, Route 66, I curated 100 sites that you need to visit from Chicago to LA on Route 66. And I did that because I drove Route 66 and I perused other guidebooks and all of them had thousands and thousands of places you could stop at. Well, I just wanted to know the essential stops that were the coolest, you know, most interesting and fascinating places. And so I came up with a curated list of the top 100 places. And I drove Route 66 in a minivan with my two kids one summer, had a wonderful time. Then Route 61 came to mind. And I thought, oh my gosh, you know, just on a trip to Memphis, I love Memphis, took my daughter to Memphis on a little girl's getaway. And we stayed at Graceland and, you know, visited Stax Records. We did all the cool Memphis music stops. And I thought, oh my gosh, you know, Route 61, I need to drive this. And, you know, there's so much to see. And I was accepted from Delta State University, which is in Cleveland, Mississippi, for a summer seminar. I'm also a teacher. I'm a Chicago public high school teacher. And this was a teaching seminar about Southern culture and history in the Deep South on the Delta. I was so excited to do that. And while I was there, I extended my stay and I had a little blue Jeep that I rented and I explored all the, the roads, byways, you know, coming off of Route 61 and all of those just cool music history sites. And I wrote a book. I curated my favorite places on that route because I felt like, you know, everybody thinks about Route 66. People come from all around the world to drive Route 66. But if you love music, Route 61 is where it's at. I mean, the entire history of American music unfolds on Route 61. 
All right. Again, the book is called The Best Hits on the Blues Highway, Nashville to New Orleans on Route 61. And you can find the links to the book on our website in the show notes. The book is on Amazon, on her website, and, you know, all the places you would normally find books. It really is a great book. Karen and I actually used it a bit when we did our vacation planning last month that included some stops in Nashville. We didn't go to Memphis or New Orleans, though, so we've got another vacation now to plan because of this book. <laughs> so do go get it. It's really, really good stuff. And uh, if you're looking for a fun music-based uh, road trip vacation uh, from Nashville to New Orleans or any of those stops in between, uh, you got to take this book with you. It's fantastic. Got great ideas, places to eat, places to get some history, uh, lots of fun stuff. I'm actually really, um, you know, serious. Like I'm going to, my sister lives in Memphis. So at some point, Karen and I are going to get in the car and we're going to do the Nashville to Memphis. And then I'm at least going to go as far south as Clarksdale. Because I got to go down there and listen to some good old blues on, in Clarksdale. <laughs> but we may end up in New Orleans as well. So good good book, and it's going to inspire uh, us to go on vacation and do some something of that. So I uh, hope you all do it too. Uh, and we certainly do apologize to all of you and to Amy for the technical difficulties of the original interview. Sometimes that happens. We're constantly tweaking our process here to prevent it. But sometimes it just happens. We'll do the interview. We'll hang up. We'll you know go to bed, get up the next day. I'll open up the files and they'll be corrupt or there'll be something wrong with it. And it's just uh, sometimes jumping through hoops to re-record an interview with someone. So we thought we've got enough of what she uh, told us that we could do a couple clips, talk a little bit about the book and do it some level of justice here. So uh, we apologize for the technical difficulties, but hopefully uh, you got a little bit from Amy there and you'll go out and get this book. 